So this is the final week for the Win and Alpha competition that Eigen Labs is running for Pico owners. And some people have asked me um, how to best record the output of their Pico. So I've seen uh, some videos online where people put a microphone in the room and they record what comes out of speakers, uh, which is a little bit, uh, it's a shame because it's totally possible to directly capture what uh, Eigen D is creating as sound and to save that to your computer uh, without having to go through uh, an, an, an external microphone and thus get the best possible sound quality. Um, now to do this you will need a couple of utilities. The most important one is Soundflower. Uh, all these utilities are free so uh, there is no, no problem to actually get started with it. So Soundflower can be downloaded from this website or you google for it and you will uh, easily find it. The latest version is 1.5.1. When you install it, it will install a virtual audio interface that you can send audio to and then afterwards um, capture it elsewhere. Um, so once that is done, <clears throat> another useful utility is called SoundSource. Um, it allows you to very easily see what your macOS system is using as for its sound output and input. And then if you don't have an audio recorder or editor, Audacity is a free and open source application that you can just download to um, record audio into and export it later on. So once you've installed these, and Soundflower will take a couple of minutes because it has to update uh, some system uh, components. So once once these are installed, um, you you can start uh, using them. So the first thing that's important is this little um, headphone here that appeared in the menu bar is actually uh, Sound Sources. Uh, icon and it allows you to see exactly what the system output is input and what your system messages uses uh, for sound uh, output also so when you will be recording you will be using the soundflower interface here the virtual interface um, this uln1 is my external firewire sound uh, module that I'm using to record my voice uh, with now. Uh, but the important part here is that your system, default system output and your system notification output is set to internal speakers and not to Soundflower because otherwise any notification messages that you will receive uh, possibly from your email that has been uh, left running or from instant messaging, those notifications will end up in the recording and this is probably not what you want so as a safeguard uh, put them on internal speakers and it's all this is also a good tip when you're performing live uh, i do this for um uh, for when i use my virtual guitar sounds just to make sure that uh, i can't accidentally get any uh, uh, noises get into the, the output uh, of, of, of the interface that has to get that has to be heard by the, by the audience. So once you've set this up, uh, the next step is to go to your applications folder and there you will see the soundflower directory. And in there uh, you will find the soundflower bed application. And when you double click on it, you can see this additional icon that appeared on your menu, menu bar. And the soundflower bed application allows you to route um, the audio of, that comes out of your virtual Soundflower interface to route it, route it elsewhere. So, um, once you've launched Soundflower Bed, it's time to launch EigenD. So, EigenD allows uh, the EigenHarp Pico to function. So, this will take a little while before it starts up. Um, let's close this browser window. What you can do also already is to launch the EigenD browser uh, because we will be configuring uh, the sound output device and the mixer volume. Um, so you can now take your EigenHarp Pico to, to control it. Um, as you see here, and let's just make this window fit the screen. So as you see here, um, EigenD is launched, but by default it will use the default, the, the default system output. Um, to change that, you go to your instruments uh, mode and select the last instrument, which is the MIDI out instrument. And uh, um, and in the first 
key that you'll see is to select the MIDI interface, well, the second key here allows you to select your audio ports. And you can see that it's set to built-in output. This is not what you want. You want to set it to Soundflower 2 channel. So once that is done, it will play through the virtual Soundflower interface. Now, the next thing to do is to change the main volume um, that EigenD is using. So to do this, you press um, the third key on the right, and you can see that the master volume is set to 120. If you use the second key on the right, you can change this, and you have to put it on 100. If you don't do this, you risk getting um, distortion when you're recording. So it's set to 100 now. So when you select an instrument now, you will not hear anything. And why is that? It's because you haven't set up the routing in Soundflower. So we were using the Soundflower 2 channel interface, and we will set it to the built-in output here, right? So once you've done that and you play on your Pico, you will hear a sound. I will now you know, increase the volume a little bit. Maybe it gets into the microphone. So this is a sound that you hear through your internal speakers. However, it is going through an additional buffer through Soundflower, and by default, this is set to um, 512, I think. This is a bit much to play live, so if you can, if your computer is powerful enough, set it as low as possible. 64 gives you very little latency, um, and it allows you to play in real, real time without feeling any uh, any influence of sound of, of of routing everything routing everything through Soundflower. So the next step here is then to launch um, your audio recorder. So if we use Audacity, which is here. So when it, when Audacity has started up which takes a little while. Um, I think it scans the VST interfaces each time, but very quickly, just to see if nothing has changed. I personally don't use Audacity. When I do plain audio recording, I use Wave Editor, uh, but that is not a free application. So once Audacity is launched, you go to its, pre its preferences, and you make sure that your playback device is put to built-in output so that you can hear it going, getting out of your uh, Mac speakers. And then your recording device is set to Soundflower 2 channel. Um, and you will re be recording a stereo signal. So once that is set up, all you have to do is press record. And whatever you play on the Pico will be recorded. So, um, and you can play it back here, of course. So it plays back again. And then you can use um, the features of Audacity, for example, to export it. Or um, there are other effects here. You can use the normalize effect um, to make sure that the volume is of your recording is set to its maximum before exporting it. So that's it. Um, I hope that this was useful. Um, another thing to note, though, is though once this audio has been recorded, you will have to sync it up with your video. Um, I will do next uh, recording about that to show you how that is done with iMovie. It's a little bit of fiddling around, but um, it's not that difficult. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.